Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another skateboarding mod update. I've got some pretty awesome features to show off to you guys today, but before we do so, make sure you go ahead, click that like button down below. I've got time to wait guys, I've got time to wait, so while you go down there, click that like button right now. Alright, you done it? Okay, good, good. We can get into the video now. Thank you. I appreciate your gesture, guys. Thank you. Let's get into the video now, guys, to show off these pretty new amazing features. And this has pretty much taken the skateboarding mod to the next level. Like, we're currently at a 5, you know? We're currently at a 5. We've taken a... Oh! Almost knocked my drink bottle off my desk. Let's put that over there so I don't hit it with my arm. We're currently at a 5. I've taken the mod up to a, probably about an 8 now. It's not 10 out of 10 yet. It's probably an 8. We're going to get to 10 out of 10 eventually, but it's currently an 8. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look right now. Let's get out of third person here. Let's go into first person. And pretty much straight away, you've probably seen what the new feature is. So um, if you've actually been following me on Twitter, you would know this already. If you're not following me on Twitter, uh, you can follow me down below, links are in the description as always. But pretty much slopes and stairs can now be textured to whatever you like. So these aren't actually separate blocks, these are actually still the same ID. Um, and that's the cool thing about it. Now I'm not going to get technical with how this actually works, but it's pretty, pretty much using Minecraft's rendering system. and. Um, it just allows so you can actually also have um, ambient occlusion so as you can see on this slight side of this right um, stairs here it's a little bit darker and that's because it's next to this block here and that um, it's just the shading and everything merges a lot better now than it used to so it actually looks natural now how you actually texture the slopes and stairs is very simple however this is probably going to change in the future because um, I'm not entirely happy with it right now is you just want to get some blocks that you might want to texture it with, maybe some emeralds, you know, maybe some pumpkin, maybe a bookshelf, <laughs> I don't know, you could do that if you wanted to, and you simply just right click it, so boom boom, we got two uh, jungle wood slopes there, we got emerald ones, pumpkin, <laughs> that's kind of funny, uh, bookshelf, uh, what else can we do, um, purple block, you can do anything that you want. Pretty much any full block you can actually use. We can also use glass if we want to. <laughs> if you wanted to create a glass skate park, that would be interesting to see if you guys would create that. And as always, guys, if you want to send your skate parks and get them featured in these update videos, send them to skateparks at mrcrayfish.com. Uh, I've had a lot of submissions and it was pretty hard to choose which one to use this week. So make sure you create the best park you can and hopefully it will get featured. Um, this park today was actually created by a person called Ren, so thank you so much. It's a replica of his local skate park, which is pretty awesome. So that is one of the new features that have been added in. The next one is not too, uh, it's not really visual. I mean, it is kind of visual, but it's not really like new content, uh, such as these uh, texturable uh, slopes here. So what we actually need to do is get out the uh, skateboard here. Oh yeah, just to mention, there is now 3D renders in the uh, inventory here, which is pretty cool. We have on our skateboard here. Pretty much the next feature now is grind locking. So what this does is, let me not get into it right now, pretty much when you start a grind, it's going to posi position you into the center of the block and also face you in the direction of the rail. Um, so that just happens initially. Uh, but as you can see, I can still turn it as I was able to before. It's just when you hop on, it's going to lock you in. So as you can see, uh, I'm not going to move my mouse. It's automatically going to turn the camera there and actually lock me into the grind, which is really useful if you actually want to switch rails, as I was just uh, mentioning just there. Because before, it was kind of a little bit difficult to actually switch rails. Um, but this just makes uh, grinding a whole lot easier now, which is... Uh, what I actually wanted and um, I actually really like this uh, feature of it so you can boom dark slide Nose let's try and do a nose to, to oh no, we didn't do it. I think it's because we did a trick in between Oh, no, we keep stuffing it up All right nose 
tail. Oh yeah, that was that was some real real tricks there. I tell you right now, that was like a, a one billion out of ten. Now that's pretty much all the new features that have been added in. You might think like, oh, that's only a, a couple of things. Well, those things took quite some time to actually implement because I had to convert all every model here to the new rendering system that I'm using. But let's go ahead, let's shred up this park right now because that's what we need to do. So this is some guy's local park as he mentioned, so uh, he's probably going to be thinking like, oh yeah, I'm skating his local park at the moment. So oh yeah, 360 kickflip over the uh, grass gap there. You can ollie up onto this uh, box here, ollie into the bank. Uh, what am I going to do here? 360, oh, okay, we stacked, we stacked. Uh, board slide, the flat bar, that was pretty gnarly. Up the multi-textured slopes. <laughs> uh, we're going to grind down this rail, what are we going to do? Dark slide, did not see that coming, did you guys? Did not see that coming. 360, uh, varial kickflip off the box there. Grind on the rich man's rail, because it's got diamonds, like that's for pros only, obviously. Uh, grind up the uh, rail. We'll try that again. I want to do that. Let's go back around. Grind up the rail. Woo! And kick flip off the end. That was pretty gnarly. Heel flip. And to fail. Oops. <laughs> Let's hop off here. Okay, we're grinding down. It's all 180. Board slide. Whoa! God! What's going on? I think that's a little bug there. I'm going to have to uh, look into that, see what was uh, causing that. That shouldn't happen. That, that really, that, that should not happen. That's kind of strange. But anyway, uh, well, I think we shred that up enough. I'm pretty sure the locals have disappeared because they thought my skills were, like, too good. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video today. I'm pretty uh, happy with the direction that this mod is going at. And as always, um, this new updated version is up on the downloads page, so you can go ahead download it now. Um, I am going to be putting it up on my website soon. I've just kind of been hosting it on uh, Planet Minecraft for now because that's where it was like originally hosted. I didn't actually have my website back two years ago. Not like it was. Um, it wasn't like my website right now wasn't like it two years ago. It was completely different and didn't have support for adding mods to it. But thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to keep update to updated with my newest updates on this mod and I will see you guys for the next one. Can't wait to see escape parks as well. Bye guys.